Hello everyone. My name is Art Russell. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to read one of my articles entitled Notes from Beyond from my blog at thinktwice.me. Now my intention isn't to bore you with my writing. I'm hoping this will provide another way of sharing information that you might not otherwise discover. Now, whether this information is useful to you is up to you to decide. So let's begin. There's the title of my blog. It's about consciousness, spirituality, and the law of attraction. Notes from Beyond. In the spring of 2019, I was drawn to purchase I Am That. Which is considered a spiritual classic. At the time, I was consciously unaware that its content would play such an important role in liberating me from my life. The book, which relates the wisdom that Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj shared with seekers of truth, has a bold and highly recognizable design, a bright yellow border that surrounds a black inlay with the title, I Am That, in the center. After I finished reading the book, I immediately began successive readings in which I highlighted quotations that resonated with deep meaning. The following is one such example. Both sleep and waking are misnomers. We are only dreaming. True waking and true sleeping, only the yani, Sanskrit meaning wise or sage, knows. We dream that we are awake. We dream that we are asleep. The three states are only varieties of dream state. Treating everything as a dream liberates. From the materialist paradigm of reality, the quote will seem ridiculous. After all, this world is real and we know it. Or do we? What could Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj possibly have meant? That we would be perplexed by or totally discredit his message is understandable, for we have little or no way to process it. Since our apparent birth, we've been conditioned to believe that the world in which we rise and shine is comprised of solid matter. However much that we assume this, science has been unable to discover matter that exists independent of mind. Perhaps the following quotes will help shine more light on the nature of the world and our essential being. The mind is the creator of everything. This was in Law of Success by Paramahansa Yogananda. Phenomena only exist in the mind that perceives them. The Tibetan Book of the Dead by Sagyal Rinpoche. All your body sensations, all your visual and audio input, the body itself, all the objects in the room, all the objects in the sky, everything, it all exists in aware. This is by Salvador Poe from the book Liberation Is. It is not the body that contains awareness and separates it from the world, but rather our true body, awareness, that contains the body, mind, and the world. That's from the book entitled The Intimacy of All Experience by Rupert Spira. If you understand that this is all illusion, the body, mind, and all that you see and perceive, then I can say you are on the right path and you've understood yourself. From the book Illusion versus Reality 
by Sri Ranjit Maharaj. This world is a play of the mind by the book by Sri Swami Sivananda in the book Thought Power. The absolute is the only reality. All else is unreal. That's from the book entitled Teachings of Ramakrishna by Sri Ramakrishna. The world which is described from observation is a manifestation of the mental activity of the observer. And that's from the book entitled Neville Goddard's Interpretation of Scripture by Neville Goddard. Humankind's understanding of the nature of reality has been erroneous for hundreds of years. Do not the occurrences in nighttime dreams seem very real until you awaken? Such is the case with the continuing drama of our life in the waking state. So-called matter, our body minds and all apparent objects only exist in consciousness. The brain does not give rise to consciousness. This is termed the hard problem of consciousness. Consciousness gives rise to the apparent brain. Yes, dear readers, this means that you are dreaming the reading of this article right now. We are spirit eternal, having an apparent human experience within the divine matrix. Have you been told stories to the contrary? And I sign off as usual, dare to dream and care for one another with heartfelt regards, art, copyright 2022. So I'd like to, I'm going to show you the quotes so that you can perhaps freeze frame this video if you are watching and and take better note of them. The quotations are in bold. And there's the last one in bold. Now I'm hoping that this information will help lead to a greater understanding about your essential nature and also help you understand the law of attraction from a deeper level, a deeper or different perspective. That's been my intention in sharing this, this article, Notes from Beyond. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe, share, and like. More information is available through my free articles at thinktwice.me and also through my book entitled This Taste of Flesh and Bones, which is available from Amazon. Thank you very much for watching. I love all of you. We'll talk again soon.